In the seventh part of this series, we will take it a step further. We are going to configure the Spring Cloud Gateway with the filter retry. Then we are going to implement the Redi so that the sessions are stored in a remote server. Today we are working with the Spring Cloud Gateway OAuth client code. In order to use Redis with the Cloud Gateway project, we need to add two new dependencies in the POM XML file. Spring Boot Starter Data Redis and Spring Session Data Redis. The configuration we do in the application YAML file. To track everything properly we have changed the logging level to trace. The session store type is Redis. The Redis server is a free server from RedisLabs.com with the following configuration. Host Port Username and Password We use the Save Session as default filter. The next configuration is the Retry filter. The number of retries is 10. We use the Retry only for GET requests. The first back off is 1 second and the maximum back off is 5 seconds. All other configuration we take over from a previous video. We can now start the Spring Authorization Server, the Spring Resource Server and the Spring Cloud Gateway. First I want to show you the website where you can create a free Redis Cloud account. Click on Try Free and create a free account. You can also use a free tool to manage all the keys, as you can see there are no keys in the database now. We launched the three projects and can now look at the results. We start in a browser window with 127.0.0.1 port 8080. With the path user after logging in with the user account we get the expected result. At first glance nothing has changed in the operation. In the developer tools we see a session cookie. If we open the Redis browser we see a session key. The number of the session cookie in the browser is the same as the session in the Redis browser. The second test is the retry filter of the Spring Cloud Gateway. To do this, we stop the Spring Resource Server. Now when we open the browser window we initially get no response. If we look in Eclipse's console we see that a request is made to the Spring Resource Server every 5 seconds. Only after 10 requests do we get an error in the browser and the console of Eclipse. This was it for today. In the next video we will continue to build on this code. Thanks for following and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.